right? So let's go back to number 15, our make and our king. And what we've just done is identify why we have the five lines, which is the ladders of our, of our pitch, if you will, and why we have the initial symbol on there to show what part of the ladder you have reached. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's go back. We're going to draw this section of the ladder, which we actually call the stave or the staff. Five, four, three, two, and one is at the bottom, right? Again, five, four, three, two, one at the bottom. We're going to identify what section this is by putting a treble clef on the top. The treble clef always goes on the top. There's hymn music. And then you've got the bass clef there the two dots on either side of the F line. Okay, so, so far, we have our framework where the music is sitting on. We know that this is a particular section of pitch that you'll be dealing with when you're singing. In fact, it wouldn't make sense for us to take something higher up because our voices don't reach up there. In the hymn book, this is placed to, to meet the range of our voices, okay? So where the music will go will roughly be where our voices can comfortably reach, okay? So in this case, number 15, my maker and my king, you identify, we have identified that you've got a treble clef and a bass clef. The next thing that you'll notice on the paper is a couple of numbers. You've got a four here and a four down here. Same in the bass, a four here and a four down here. Nothing in between at the moment. Now, that tells us the rhythm of the piece. All music has some kind of rhythm in the hymn book. Okay? You may not have a drum to beat it out, but it still has a rhythm that's going through and through. Okay? All that different musicians will do and especially percussionists will emphasize the rhythm that's already there, okay? Now, all music has a rhythm. The key thing for you to understand out of the box here is the top number, the top number in the treble, which is the same as the top number in the bass. They've just reproduced this code here down in the bass clef. It's the same thing. So you can read this one or this one, it doesn't matter. This is what we call the time signature, okay? And the time signature tells you um, the kind of circle that you're going to be taking in terms of rhythm. You may have a one, two, three, four march time. You might have a slower walking time, one, two, one, two, or a kind of a Lilton thing like one, two, three, a waltz. Again, you can extend that with a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So in this particular case, we have a march time which is four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on that one, your strongest beat is number one. One, two, and then your next strongest beat is three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So in part finders, or in the army, I think they start with the left foot. One, two, three, all right? So one is with your right, or with your left rather. Two is with your right, and then three is with your left again. Those are the strong beats. In um, modern music and jazz music, they will also emphasize the weaker beats to get a swing in effect, okay? Um, and we sometimes do that in our choruses. We'll have a grand time. That's the strong beat. Up in heaven. Now, this is the weak beat. We will have a grand time. Up in heaven. I'm emphasizing the weak beat, but you can hear the swing going with that. So there's a lot with music that um, we can do to get different colors and different effects. Going back to the hymn book, treble clef, bass clef, we've got our clefs here first, and then secondarily, we have our time signature. The top number is the one that we need to focus on, and I'm circling that. The top number tells us how many beats we have within a bar, within a cycle, okay? And so your, your cycle is bounded by a line like this, 
which is what we call our bar lines. And in between those bar lines, let's say we put that one and that one, between these bar lines, you're going to get a count of four. Okay? Between each bar line, according to this signature, this code, it's saying that you're going to have four beats. All right? So four claps. One, two, three, four. One, two. When you reach four, you go over again. Okay? So that's what that one is telling you. The bottom number is code for how long that will be roughly. Okay? And so... The four underneath, this is a little bit more technical, but the four, when you get a four underneath, it's um, four crotchet beats, and we'll emphasize this in a, in a second, but just for your information. If you have an eight under there, uh, it would be more likely to be six eight. The eight would sig signify that you've got quaver beats, so that would be a bit quicker in general. And if you had, let's say, a two two, that would mean you have minute beat, minute beats, I'll put the quaver there. And minute. That is not as essential when you're starting out with understanding how to read music for the hymn book. Okay? What's more important is the top number for you to see how quick, so how many beats in a bar you have, how many beats you'll have until the cycle turns over again. So you can have two beats in a bar, three, four in the hymn book, six. You can have an, uh, a 9 and you can have a 12. These are the ones that you'll see in your hymn book. Outside of that, you can have 5s, you can have 7s. But we're talking about music from a hymn book. So you have number 2 on the top. You'll have a 3. You'll have a 4. So you might have 2 over 2. So 2 beats in a bar. You can have, normally you have 3, 4. You don't always have 3, 8. You have 4, 4. This is very common. 3, 4, 4, 4 is very common. And then 6, 8, another popular one. You also have, in a few songs, 9, 8. And there's one song which has 9, 8, and then goes to 12, 8 as well. Okay? That is rare. Most of the um, songs in the hymn book will have 3, 4, 4, 4, and 6, 8. So all you need to do, all you need to know is it's three beats in the bar. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 4 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or six beats, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. That's the difference between three and six. Has more of an extended rhythm going on there. You also have your twos there. One, two, one, two. Okay?